ओके वेलकम बैक वेलकम बैक टू प्रोग्रामिंग पार्ट टू इन फंक्शंस प्रोग्रामिंग पार्ट टू इन फंक्शंस वी विल ट्राई टू डिस्कस टू मोर प्रोग्राम्स लेट मी क्रिएट ए न्यू वन ओके so first i will take up uh, a program using functions a program using functions to find the maximum of just two numbers maximum of two numbers maximum of two numbers so let the two numbers uh, be say a and b a and b okay uh, so first read them read them enter the two numbers enter the two numbers okay so scan of what are the format specifiers percentage d percentage d so ampersand a ampersand b so these are the two numbers these are the two numbers so we are reading so after that uh, let us call the function which finds the maximum of two numbers maximum and what do you have to pass a b so because we want to find the maximum of two numbers a b now what ab what maximum does it finds the maximum and uh, what it returns so because you are passing two numbers what is the maximum of two numbers means the maximum of two numbers can be a or b so it returns either a or b so that means it returns integer so because it is returning an integer if it's not returning we can write like this because it is returning integer what we have to write on the left hand side there should be some variable okay on the left hand side there should be some variable there should be some variable so let us call it as c and let us declare it also so after that you can print you can print the maximum is the maximum is maximum is the percentage d so see what are it be so because if if it is a it is stored in c if it is b it is also stored in c so c contains the maximum so that is we are going to print now the thing is function again function again so because it is returning an integer in return type is int maximum maximum we can use int a b or x y x y it's better to avoid confusion you use different variables so integer x integer y what is there in the code what is there in the code just one if statement which finds the maximum if if a greater than b if a greater than b you have to find the maximum if a greater than b, b means a is a is the maximum so we can we can print here instead what we are doing we are returning the maximum so what is the maximum if a greater than b a so you just return a return a return a okay else if it is not the case then what is the maximum return b return b you can directly return let me use the parenthesis let us check return b okay that's all anything to be added anything to be added 
save it save it say x14 dot c x14 dot c so build some problem is there what is that what is that each undeclared identifier is reported error b undeclared where b is undeclared okay okay here it is not a b we are using x and y we are using x and y so x y because a b values are copied into x and y okay fine so we'll execute two numbers 10 20 what is the maximum 20 is the maximum maximum is 20 we'll check the reverse case also okay so twenty ten. so maximum is 20 only okay we are printing the maximum we are printing the maximum so you can write uh, this program using functions like this okay this is one program next we'll consider another one so this program is for first initially we in this program we'll consider uh, printing the digits of a number so suppose you are given 123 what are the digits? What are the digits? 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. What are the digits? 1, 2, 3. If you are given 123, what are the digits? Digits are 1, 2, 3. Now, how do you get 1, 2, 3? You are asked to print the digits of a number okay so 123 if it is given then digits are 1 2 3 how do you get the individual digits of a number any idea from 123 i have to get 3 2 1 or 1 2 3 how do you get okay so 123 uh, what happens if I divide by 10? What happens if I divide by 10? What is the remainder? What is 123 by 10? 123 by 10 is? What is the quotient? Quotient is 12. What is the remainder? 3. What is the remainder? 3. So, you get the quotient by division operation slash. How do you get that 3 remainder? You get by 123 percentage 10. Is it okay? 123 percentage 10. So, the remainder is the remainder after dividing 123 by 10 is 3. So, I am getting the digits. Now, I same logic I can apply with with uh, 12 also. If I divide using slash, I get 1. The quotient is 1. And if I use percentage operator, the remainder is the remainder is 2. So, 1 uh, after that again, uh, the, after that again, 1 will be remaining. 1 slash 2 is 0 but one percentage 10 one slash 10 is zero but one slash one percentage 10 is one percentage 10 is the remainder is one so if i divide it if i divide that number say three digit number three times with 10 i 
I will get three, two, one. So they are the digits. Let me try it first. Let me try it first. So what we are doing, enter the number, first we have to read the number, enter the number, say enter the number, let it be n, let it be n, and of n, let, uh, let us call the number as n. Uh, let us call a uh, function which print with print the digits let us call it as print digits and pass this n as parameter n as parameter okay uh, let it print it so we'll assume that the return it, it doesn't return anything it will just print there itself so return type is void so print digits so void void print digits integer here also we call it as n we here also we call it as n we are also we call it as 10 n only so now what we have to do we have to divide it by 10 uh, we have to apply remainder operator also remainder uh, operator also until oh, what is the terminating condition how long you are going to apply uh, one, if it is 123 we are dividing by 10 if it is 12 we are dividing by 10 if it is 1 we are dividing by 10 in that case the if, when you divide 1 by 10 the quotient is 0 so until that uh, we get the quotient after that there is no meaning in remaining 0 when the quotient is 0, 0 divided by 10, 0 divided by 10 repeatedly is just 0. So, the, you do not divide. The numbers are exhausted. The numbers are exhausted. So, until the quotient value, until the quotient value is not 0, you have to divide. Until the quotient value is not 0, you have to divide. So, how do you do it? How do you do it? Say, while, while, n divided by 10 n divided by 10 n divided by 10 not equal to not equal to 0 n divided by 10 not equal to 0 what we are going to do repeatedly what we are going to do okay First, uh, let us obtain the remainder. Reverse may lead to problem. So, so, digit, some integer, let us call it as, which is capable of storing the digit. So, digit equal to n percentage 10. n percentage 10. Print, print, digit, print digit percentage d say will give space digit i have printed it digit is printed okay digit is printed now n equal to n by 10 n equal to n by 10 n equal to n by 10 so initially i am extracting the remainder after that i am dividing it i am dividing it Okay, if we reverse the, if we reverse these two, what happens? If we reverse these two, what happens? Think. Will there be any difference? Think. Okay. Why digit equal to, we will uh, see it also. Okay. Digit equal to n percentage uh, 10, print of percentage digit n equal to n by 10. So, you are printing it. So, after that, uh, say, you can just simply write return. Even if you don't write, uh, nothing happens. 
so oh, here i am making use of digit so i have to declare it i have to declare it okay so and digits anything else let me save it let me save it say ex15 dot c see you have to use appropriate names not ex15 sample1 etc sample1 etc it's better you use uh, digits digits of a number some names something like that it's better you use such names compilation failed why print digits what is the issue okay what is the issue return type of return type defaults to what is the error let us check error n undeclared n undeclared that is one error that means we are sorry n undeclared we have to declare n n undeclared that is error so all the remaining are warnings error expected uh, parents is somewhere the parents is missing line number 12 line number 12 okay so this is the common mistake we do so while defining uh, we'll put semicolon that should not be there because here we are writing code uh, definition so we should not do it n is not declared so we'll declare n okay see while writing the program you have to follow this procedure you are not as a beginner you are not supposed to write the program directly on the computer at least at the initial stages at least at the initial stages okay because you have to use your mind as a scratch pad not that you cannot use it initially i don't recommend but maybe after writing say 15 20 programs you can try it you can try it okay but you should have a pro you should have presence of mind you should have presence of mind and you should be thinking you should be thinking so the best way is the best way is take uh, uh, say book uh, pen and then write the program so while writing the program you have to follow this procedure okay what i have done this uh, first i have uh, read the number and then call the function and then within the function i write, uh, wrote i am going to check uh, what are the problems anything anything missing like that i am going to check let me try to execute 123 3 2 are printed 3 2 are printed 1 is not printed why why because here we are written n by 10 so th these are the uh, mistakes you write uh, you think you can write it uh, correctly uh, but uh, here because we are dividing here you need not divide uh, you should not divide here while n not equal to 0 while n not equal to 0 let me build and try it again you can see 321 321 see sometimes silly mistakes it takes lot of time sometimes you make silly mistakes but you, they take lot of time that's why you are uh, supposed to write it on paper first check it check uh, check it manually give some some simple uh, number and then check whether you are getting the correct value or not whether the output is correct or not so after that you can proceed after that you can proceed with the computer so here what we have done we have printed the we have printed the digits of a number we have printed the digits of a number okay this is working correctly just have a look at it the logic the main logic is here so have a look at it
okay uh, we have obtained the digits of a number we have obtained the digits of a number uh, let us try to improve it and uh, because we are expanding we are getting the digits of a number let us try to uh, find the reverse of a number reverse of a number what is the logic reverse of a number so for that uh, you have to understand the decimal number system what is 123 actually what is 123 123 is actually 1 into 100 I will use star I can use x for convenience but I will use star 1 into 100 plus 2 into 10 plus 3 into 1 3 into 1 ok so what is 123 1 into 100 plus 2 into 10 plus 3 into 1 so 1 is in 100's place 2 is in 10's place 3 is in 1's place what does it mean it means actually you have to multiply that then value the number in that the digit actually in that position with the corresponding position value so 1 into 100 plus 2 into 10 plus 3 into 1 so that is actually 123 now what is the reverse of it what is the reverse of it it is 321 what is it it is again 3 into 100 3 into 100 plus 2 into 10 plus 1 into 1 1 into 1 so is it okay so that is 321 that is 321 so what is happening here first we are getting 3 first we are getting 3 then 2 then 1 so what we can do after getting 3 just multiply that uh, 3 by 10 ok 3 by 10 it becomes 30 then add that 2 32 so again you multiply this uh, the 30 by 10 and uh, 2 by 10 that means actually 3 with 100 and then 2 with 10 32 into 32 into 10 means what is 32 into 10 32 is nothing but 30 plus 2 so 30 into 10 plus 2 into 10 that is 320 320 so you can multiply the digits you can multiply the digits or be before we go, go into it uh, I said uh, we'll check experiment one thing but you remember you just take take a note of this one take a note of this one so i told you we will check with uh, this one okay we will reverse and check whether it will work correctly or not compilation no problem one two what is happening okay let me just build build execute enter the number one two three so here you can see you are not getting so the order of the statements order of the statements order of the statements is also important be careful particularly when solving the numerical problems the order is important the order of the statements is important okay now suppose if, if we interchange these two number two statements n equal to n by 10 and printf will there be any problem i think there is this no problem what is what is your answer 
so the order of the statements do matter whenever the order of the statements do matter be careful be careful now coming to what we are trying to do so digit equal to digit by 10 so we call the reverse of a number as say reverse so that is also integer reverse let it be initially 0 let it be initially 0 so after dividing after getting the remainder what we do is reverse equal to reverse star 10 plus digit now what i have done i have multiplied the current value of reverse with 10 and added the digit that means initially reverse is 0 so 0 into 10 that is 0 plus digit what is the first digit in the case of 123 it is 3 so reverse becomes 3 next step what i go to do in the digit i get the c this the 2 so reverse is equal to reverse into 10 that is what is in the reverse 3 3 into 10 that is 30 plus digit what is it 2 so 32 next digit will get 1 so reverse is equal to reverse into 10 that is 32 into 10 what is it 320 plus digit what is the digit 1 so that is 321 so that's how you have to find so the reverse so you are going to find the reverse and then you can print let me check whether it works or not reverse of a number is so this, this is how you learn programming please remember i am also making mistakes you are also going to make mistakes see what i can uh, do is i can have a paper something like this okay or i can have a paper something like this i will write a program i will write a program i will just uh, be typing from this uh, sheet also i can do it okay so in that case there will be no errors in that case there will be no errors but i am not teaching you programming i am just doing the copying copying part but of course i might have written my own program on this one but i am not thinking i am not thinking at that point of time i am just copying i am just copying so don't do it don't do it i have other methods of teaching also programming i can just have a program already executed uh, open it and just try to explain it and just try to explain it okay that is easy method for the teachers easy method for the teachers see i will i will tell you one fact uh, it may hurt many people it may hurt many people so 70 to 80 percent of the people in computer science don't know programming 70 to 80 percent of the people in computer science don't know programming that is very very unfortunate that's why i told you in the initial modules also it's not the communication skills it's the problem solving skills people don't have what is called as problem solving skills problem solving skills okay you have to solve the problems and it is a skill you get only by practice because initially what people do is they will take some book maybe test book or senior record or internet they will copy the program they will type the program they will type the program uh, they will execute it fine fantastic they will get uh, 10 out of 10 for each uh, for each experiment fine fantastic but what you have done actually what you have done is it programming or typing you have done a typing so that means if you are done typing you are going to become the typist not programmer so because in computer science uh, maybe there are several reasons uh, the main reason is people don't do programming it's a skill you have to do you have to practice so people come from other branch other branches because computer science was open for uh, uh, everybody okay 
their level of programming or uh, their logic is uh, d different they don't do much programming so they no don't know programming i'm not uh, take uh, con considering or i'm not saying they are uh, in any way inferior people who come from other branches also they are not inferior okay but they have not practiced it but they have not practiced it some may be more intelligent than us uh, uh, than people in the computer science some may be more intelligent some may be very good in programming i have seen such people who are better than me also yeah, maybe when i am studying a few people used to um, one fellow from mechanical used to do lot of programming okay so it, it depends but it's a skill you have to practice what you have to practice not typing programming let us build it let us build it okay let us execute it 1 2 3 so you can see the reverse of a number is 321 we are getting okay the reverse of the number is 321 the reverse of a number is 321 the reverse of a number is 321 so we are able to compute the reverse of a number we are able to compute the reverse of a number now what is it we have computed the reverse there is one important program called as palindrome now what is palindrome in the case of number or in the case of string also in the case of number if you read from left to right if you read from right to left it should be same it should be same that is if you read from left to right if it is 123 then the reverse if you read it it should also be 123 if it is the case it is palindrome here 123 is not a palindrome 123 is not a palindrome 123 is not a, a palindrome maybe 121 is a palindrome 121 is a palindrome okay 121 is a palindrome but we have to change the code let we will see okay build it uh, added so whenever you make any modifications build it so 121 so 121 so how do you check okay so that means what is the original number here original number is n what is the reverse reverse is stored in reverse if both are same then it is a palindrome so first i will compare but there is one uh, problem here this program will not work i will i will tell you yani if sorry if n equal to reverse n equal to reverse then print f the given number given number is palindrome given number is palindrome given number is palindrome else print f print f the given number is not palindrome given number is not palindrome given number is not palindrome okay will it work the logic is okay if n equal to reverse what is the original number n reverse of a number is in reverse so if n equal to reverse the number is palindrome let us check it let us check first initial i will give 123 123 so okay the given number is not palindrome fine fantastic it is working because it is not a 
palindrome let us give palindrome what happens let us give palindrome 121 it is a palindrome but still we are getting is not a palindrome what is the problem can you identify can you identify reverse uh, we have printed it we are getting 321 no problem if you give 123 we are getting 321 no problem now n also it is the original value we are reading it uh, we are reading it and we are pausing i think as a parameter pausing it as a parameter what is the problem the problem is this statement so we are actually manipulating the value of uh, n so so each time one if it is 123 it, it is becoming 12 it is becoming 1 it is becoming 0 so that's what we are checking n not equal to 0 so what you have to do is if you want to do this one so you use some temporary variable temporary variable say temp is the temporary variable okay temp store it in n let store the n in it let it be as it is that means we are not going to manipulate this n we are going to manipulate only temp the temp name i don't know let me check now one 21 so the given number is palindrome so we are getting the correct output we are getting the correct output let us give again one which is not a palindrome also let us check again not palindrome fine okay so this is the program to find the to find whether given number is palindrome or not so you can change this the name of the program also name of the function also okay appropriately i have not changed it you can change it you can change it so this is how you write the programs this is how you write the programs this is how you write the programs i am demonstrating you how to write the programs how to write the programs okay so best of luck try programs so maybe at the first semester level uh, you are expected to write uh, 100 to 200 programs if you write 200 programs on your own you, you become a good programmer remember the first semester is very very important uh, if you don't write the programs if you are a typist in first semester then in the remaining sem semesters it's very difficult for you you will be managing you will be just managing okay you will be managing you don't become a programmer rare cases will be there where people learn programming at a different level also but usually usually we resist we resist it psychologically and we don't become the programmers so if you want to learn programming learn at, at this stage only learn at this stage only first semester stage okay so if, if i try to suppose i, I don't know uh, riding the bike uh, riding the motorcycle if you try to learn at the age of 50 okay uh, i am 48 years now if i try it at this stage it's difficult it's very very difficult eppudu em cheyalo ad appude cheyale okay so study preserve your health that is the main thing preserve your health okay study take good food take good food enjoy to some extent enjoy to some extent but put limits whatever you do 
if if we lose if we lose control that is very bad for you that is the basic point if you lose control that is very bad for you lose control means if you take excessive food you will lose control okay you will feel uneasy so avoid excessive food so 80% full stomach only 80% stomach 80% full stomach so if you take even if you uh, take more air also it will be a trouble okay breathe breathe perfectly breathe like a baby breathe like a baby so definitely this alcohol drugs etc so they will make you lose control so you have to avoid you have to avoid so it's up to you to decide it's up to you to decide hope uh, government will ban alcohol and uh, that is one of the good things there is no reason why we take uh, alcohol maybe alcohol should be taken only as a medicine so if you ban it some at some point of time it may become a medicine also something you are like you are tonic okay best of luck start writing the programs only i hope you have already started but do write plenty of programs you will fail 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 maybe several times doesn't matter get discouraged so i am also getting errors isn't it i am also getting errors while writing the programs so if i get discouraged definitely i cannot do this i have to find some other method look into the paper and then type it okay we will fail yodu kosam batkadanni mana kosam batkandi pa yodu navtadani ivanni em cheyadandi yodu batku vandi at the end of the day nobody is there for you anta midya thank you